in class, there was a question about the Omni class uh, and how it was grayed out. We couldn't uh, modify it. So let's put in a beam just anywhere. And then we'll take a look at it and we scroll down. And we don't see the Omni class here, but if we edit the type, we do see the Omni class, but it is grayed out. So we'll highlight the object, edit the family, and then we do have the Omni class. It's grayed out, but if you click on it, then and click the three little dots, then you could go in and change whatever you want. You can give it a different setting and change the Omni class uh, this way. The Omni class are predefined by Revit. Uh, and so uh, in order to add another classification to this, which I think might be a little bit um, more complex than I know how to do, that's a text file in Revit. I don't know how to point you to it, but if you need to change the Omni class, you would be changing it here from an exist to a, a different uh, to a different uh, classification. And then, if you changed it, then it would change that to that different classification. I'm not going to save this because I definitely don't want to change the classification of that. Uh, but that would be the quick answer on how to modify it. So say no to that because I don't want I didn't want to change it. So we just simply click on it on the object, edit the class, edit the family. And then we have this Omni class here. We can double click the three dots, select the line first, double hit the three dots. And you can change the Omni class that way to another predefined Omni class number and uh, title.